Okay. Hello. How you doing? We're going to try this again. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. Anyway, so I got in a couple more things to, well, basically do an open box. And I'm going to do them all at once, including this white thing here. Um, this is, if I can get it to open, I don't know, I have to take a knife for it, there it goes. There's a set of countersink drill bits. Let me get one of them out, or all of them out. These, there's a big one. Anyway, put those down. So, here's the, it's the drill bit. These these are adjustable on depth, so you can set the hole as depth because they got an Allen wrench here, and the Allen wrench came with the thing. And you drill this into about that point, and then whatever bolt or screw will will countersink below the surface, and you can put wood putty or something over it and clean it and hide it. I've got a whole set. They range from the small one and to get the hole big enough for the head of your screw, depending on which size head you're using, you can just go deeper, make the hole bigger, or stop whenever you feel like it. So those are going to be, we're going to use those and review those in an upcoming project i got to put up. So these are part of that. Then I've got some drill bits. That came in that came in recently, and then they're uh, made by DeWalt. They go to this little itty bitty thing, which you could probably barely see, um, one sixteenth of an inch, and then all the way up to a half inch. And my nose is acting up again. I hate it when it does that. I can't get anything done without stupid thing going. And these I haven't shown on the channel. I've got a full set of well, reasonably brand new. This is a DeWalt impact driver. Um, I've already got a screwdriver bit in there because probably I've used it a couple times. It's got batteries, lots of batteries. And more batteries. And then battery cover protector for the big one. And a big uh, 20 volt. Uh, I think it's a half horse drill. It's got three states, three stages on it. Handheld adjustable chuck and it runs on battery power. One of these batteries will work. Any one of them. It says it was manufactured in 2019. It's got a brushless motor, it's got lots of power. And what I like about these, it's got the little neat clip that you can just hang them on your belt when you're working. So you don't have to have a belt thing. Came with a handle. I don't know what that's doing in here, that should be in the other bag. And I got a few tools already in the bag that I've been using it. Some screws. These screws, um, they were a one pound of number two Phillips. They're three inches long. So we're going to be using all this in an upcoming project. And then um, the plan is. I gotta put these back in the bag so they don't get all over the place in this little tool bag. And I got several home improvement projects because even in the um, even when I do reviews on these products, like the lights, they're being used right now because you can see my shadow. Um, the uh, FDR AX343 uh, is right there you're looking at me in it and right here then um, the task cam is right there below it that I did a review on a while back and then there's a uh, Ben photo um, tripod underneath all that which I think I did it I don't remember I didn't remember I got projects going out the ears and I'm Trying to get all the tools and the equipment because I didn't have any of it to get done. And then trying to get this channel up and running and everything else just just became overwhelming. So I had to start take a step back and, and take um, 
take in uh, um, do things a little slower the channel yeah I'm gonna start for I'm gonna keep producing videos for this channel they may not all be reviews or they may not all be repairs but they're gonna be reviews and repairs or reviews and using the product to show you how it works so we'll get on to the the other one let me put this bag zip this bag up these bags that DeWalt puts out with their tools aren't really all that bad. They're actually pretty tough. Now this big one, huh, I got trash. This big box is gonna be the way. It's a set of um, well sawhorses, big plastic sawhorses, cheap ones, ones I can afford at the time. So we're gonna open these up. I have to find my knife. Should be over here someplace. Let's see how. Oh, probably buried under my cell phone. Yeah, buried under the cell phone in the glasses case. This table's just ready to walk. I gotta clean it. Anyway, so I need the knife to open the box. And I know I'm probably too low for you to see the box, but let me get the tape cut. And my videos should be. You know, I, I gotta start making better stuff. So. Okay, the tape was cut, and then I'm going to turn around and dump these onto the table I'm sitting on, I guess you want to call it, because that's what I'm using it for. Anyway, here you go. Let's get these things out of the box. So I want to throw the box away or use it for something else. Anyway, put that there. You guys can hold it for a minute. Okay, these sawhorses. Pretty neat. Yeah, lots of little accessories to them, looks like. A little table here. Little clamps for stuff. They've got pockets for boards and cord hooks. Both sides, that's not bad. Plastic. I don't know, let's on the bottom. They've got these little things here that come off. And I imagine you can hook these on someplace else to hold stuff. They go there and they'll, they'll go here. It's all the way open. They'll go, yeah, they should slide in here. Yeah, there you go. So they're uh, helping hands. That's a pretty good place to keep them, too. Both sets have got them. Put it back where it came from. So these, well, at least now we know what was in the box. Tomorrow I'm going to stick these outside next to the ladders and stuff and maybe in the shed. I don't know if I can find a place to find But those um, sawhorses are going to be used for a lot of little projects I got going on and you're going to get to see how they're used. And I'll probably do better as the lock video turned out bad, but you can put them side by side and use them for a table. I didn't realize that they have adjustable feet levels too, so you can level them off of your own in the ground, which I'm going to be. And here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but here's the photo with those things on top that I just told you. So this ought to be, you no know, box is too big, I gotta break it down and make it smaller. I want to put that right there, it is way over there. Those are going to help with the uh, upcoming project that we got going. Now, I'm not really promising anything, but you should see it in a couple weeks, month, week, I don't know, whatever it works out to be. Now, I've gotten some more mics and other stuff to be using to do these videos that I'm probably not going to talk about, because I've already got the boxes open and all that, but generally the... the that thing is just a pain in the butt. Anyway, quit messing with the boxes, making too much noise. I'll get rid of it here in a minute. Anyway, so with the DeWalt drills and impact wrench and some of the other tools that I've got running around here, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, um, projects and we're going to. Uh, I'll show you how they work and I'm not even going to tell you what the projects are because I want you to be entertained and come back to watch more 
which doesn't seem like I'm doing a very good job because you guys aren't really watching anything that I'm doing. I mean, I get two or three, four vis visitors for the movies, which I'm probably going to end up stopping because there isn't anything. It seems like you guys like the electronics. But the thing is, I open these boxes and put this equipment stuff out. So when I decide to introduce, like, say, sewing machine, you're going to see me using the sewing machine over and over and over again. That way you can get a real feel of if it's any good or not, if it's difficult to use, if it's whatever. These these plastic uh, saw horses, you're going to get me, you're going to see me use them over and over and over and over again, you know, throughout the years, um, doing projects and stuff. That way you can get a feel of how tough they are, how long they last, and, and uh, you know, for frankly, it gets you to watch more of the videos that I'm putting out. Now there is one more thing I wanted to show because I haven't shown it. I've been telling you I've been using it, but I've got this little itty bitty Sony, which you're going to see more of in the videos. It's a uh, the FDR AX300 camera. You've seen video from this and and on here already, um, but uh, you're going to see. Uh, video from that and the um, and the the camera you're watching me on or the window you're watching me in whichever way you want to look at it as long as I have the window open now outside recording projects for clients or whatever um, won't show up on this channel when I get enough of them built up I'll start putting them on its own channel and I got these little worms these things these little sugar filled worms, candy worms, are addictive. You get one and you want the whole bag. And that's what I've been trying not to do is eat the whole bag because I'm getting a little big around the midsection. You know, I've got to work on that too. So I guess I'm reviewing myself as too fat. And I'm going to work on that too and as soon as I get a figure out a way to do the exercise that I need to and still be able to be on the camera so I'm hoping that in the next couple months I can do 30 or 40 outside videos and then um, I just bought some wireless mics when they came when they come in they're actually uh, like karaoke mics where like the mass singer would use or something like that where it's it's an actual hold of the face type microphone instead of you know like the boom mics that I'm using now and if I start doing the interviews for another channel where um, if I can get that going then those will come in real handy then I can set the camera up record for a couple hours doing the interview on one channel then duplicate it when I get it into processing then uh, we can uh, then I can have two channels that are doing poorly and do twice as much work to try to make a little extra money to support the household. But um, I got this microphone boom too that I, I just recently got in. It's cheap $30 job but it seems to want to do the trick and um, puts the microphone right about here. Yeah, right there. I'm touching it just at the end of my finger when I had it up there so that you can hear me a little better and I'm hoping the sound from that is reasonably good quality like it is from my wireless microphone and the other shotgun mics that are mono that came from newer and then we will do um, other I'll start talking about other things too because um, I'm enjoying the video making because I'm normally a photographer I don't have room to set up photography right now because there's just way too many people in the house. Just way too many people. And I have, it has to do with a lot of the COVID-19 and it's just crazy. So, I don't know why I'm playing with this. It's addictive. I've got other things that I've got to uh, get videos and taken care of. and um, I've got some solar lights coming up probably in the next video because I'm going to uh, get those out as soon as I get some of the cardboard out.